Hey yo, what up YouTube? Just wanted to make a quick video here because I've been seeing a lot of noobs running around in their orange coats with their orange striped pants. So I figured I'd make a quick video showing you how to get some free cosmetics for PUBG. If you are on PC and you use Steam as your game launcher, all of these outfits that you see on the screen are available in the Steam Marketplace. All you gotta do is hover over Community, go to Market, find Browse by Game, click on PUBG. We can sort the price from lowest to highest, and voila, you can see all of these clothes here are starting at just three cents a piece. So we got cargo pants, camo pants, long sleeve black shirts, baseball caps, gloves, everything you need to get started. So for 12 or 15 cents, you can get fully kitted out. But if you don't have 12 or 15 cents in your Steam wallet, don't pull out your credit card just yet. Go to your profile inventory, click on Steam, over here, show advanced filters, click on marketable. Everything that pops up here for you can be sold on that same Steam market. Now it's all different prices, so it could be three cents, four cents, five cents, whatever you got in there, I don't know. But let's say we wanna sell this Sad Star 2022. It's starting at five cents. Now what that means is there's probably 13,000 people selling these things for five cents. If we want to sell this right away, we're going to have to undercut them all and sell it for four cents. But there is a transaction fee that Steam has, so we're only going to get two cents for that. But if you've got a dozen things in here that you don't care about and you can sell like that, that'll give you plenty of money to get yourself a couple of these outfits. Now that's option number one. All right, we've pulled up the game now for method number two, how to get free cosmetics for PUBG. You're going to want to go to the store, click on items, and you'll see Hunter's Chest and Keys available for BP. Now, BP is the in-game currency that you get just for playing the game. In my experience, you get about a thousand BP per hour if there's no events or missions going on to help you. So every nine hours, whether you do that in one day or one week, you should be coming up in here to buy a hunter's chest and a key. Once you acquire these items, you can go to the workshop, regular crafting, and you'll see them here. So you can then open up your hunter's chest and it's gonna give you a random item. Could be a helmet, could be a jacket, could be some pants. Now you don't quite own these just yet, but you have the imprints. Imprints need to be crafted using credits. Now there's a couple different ways to get credits. First thing you're gonna to wanna to check is up here on this little box, this is the event center. Now there's usually a daily, weekly, and seasonal event going on, giving you different things like hunter's chest and credits. Now you do have to come in and claim these things individually. The game's not just going to give them to you in your inventory. So you gotta make sure you check in every day, claim the boxes, and this one here, the daily supply, you can earn up to eight of these supply loot caches, which give you random amounts of credits. Now, it's generally just between five and 20, but it does add up over time. So you wanna keep that in mind. Another way to get credits is after you accumulate some of these things, if you don't like any of them, you can disassemble them for credits. Now, depending on the amount of items in the imprint and its rarity will determine how many credits you get. So in general, my theory is you pretty much have to open up three hunters chest in order to get three different imprints and you're going to have to disassemble two of those imprints in order to get one. So my method was to just grind my booty off, get 9,000 BP, get the hunter's chest and the key, open it up, and save all the ones that I really like until I get enough of the ones that I don't like that I can disassemble in order to get the new cosmetics. So, that is your second method. It's a little bit more time consuming, depending on how much 
time you can play every day. But I think for absolutely nothing, this is really cool PUBG to do. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think? Is this too confusing for you or do you appreciate it like I do? We'll see you next time. Later.